it up. What's inside? Eat it up. Bring me just the youngest. Bring me just the youngest. What's your flavor? What's your style? Bring me just the youngest. Move like this and feel like that. Snack for everybody, move like this and feel like that. Creamy, tasty, yummy, creamy, tasty, yummy. Festive ah. cream rolls, creamy, tasty, yummy. Off the snack for you all. From the makers of Festive Bread, we introduce Festive Cream Rolls available in four flavors vanilla, strawberry, caramel, and chocolate. Festive Cream Roll, the perfect snack for all. I want to emerge the winner for today. The plan is God to help me to become the champion of the Kenya Spelling Bee 2019. I'll try the word according to what I'll be thinking about the word. I've been practicing a lot and I know I'll get this thing. I, I'll listen to the words, think, then spell it out. I'm going to listen to the words very keenly and think before I spell the words then I'll be sure of what I'm doing. I'm ready and I enjoy English and I'll really try my best and I hope to win. A very good morning to you and welcome to the Kenya Spelling Bee Championships. This is about to be a morning like you cannot believe. It is the second episode of our second season. My name is Kala Chamumu and I'm your host as we try and find out who can spell like a champion and walk away with the ultimate prize of half a million shillings and a 26-seater bus in boot for their school, plus lots of lots of cash prizes for our first runner up and our second runner up so it's about to be amazing the key question is can you spell your words correctly even as you're sitting at home we'll be having a quiz for you a little later just to find out if you can and uh, this amazing show is brought to you by dpl festive veda stationery ting ting confectionery by kenafric industries and containers better known as kentank and i know everybody wants to know how is this game played how are you going to do the rules? What happens if there's a tie? Well, last week, we did have a tie, but we managed to do an extra round and finally got ourselves our three finalists that could proceed to the semi-final. So we're here to do it again. Of course, we can't be spelling these words without the word master. So allow me to introduce you to our word master, Willis. How are you? <laughs> Fine, thanks, Kaleche. Even from the faces of those who are already on the stage, I just felt things are going to be big. Otherwise, things are going to be good. We are ready. We are ready. I like that. The word master is ready. So here are the rules so that you are aware how we will be playing. Rule number one, spellers may not receive help of any sort from other spellers or members of the audience. So hush in the house if you're here in studio with us. There will be a total of three rounds that will be played and this is how they will be played. We have two words in round one two words in round two and three words in round three. In each round, spellers will receive one word to spell at a time. 
If they spell the word correctly, they will then have the opportunity to proceed to the next word. If the word is incorrect, however, they will be asked to take a seat and given the correct spelling of the word as we proceed to the next contestant. They will then be leaving us at each break so that we can be left with the team that is battling it out for those three positions to move to the semi-finals. Now, each contestant will be required to spell their word within 20 seconds before this buzzer goes off. <coughs> When you hear that sound, time is up. So contestants, I urge you to try and spell your words within 20 seconds. Now contestants may pronounce their words before spelling them, after spelling them, or not at all. For all words with capitals, you will be required to indicate the capital letter before you start. For example, if you are spelling the word festive, you will be asked to spell it as a brand and you will spell capital F E-S-T-I-V-E. -E. Now, spellers must spell each letter out and not double or use any other sort of shorthand out there while spelling. For example, if we're spelling the word B, it has to be B-E-E, -E, just for spelling B. If a word is unclear to a contestant, he or she may ask for the word to be repronounced, defined, or used in a sentence. Now, once a contestant has begun to spell their word out, he or she may not ask for a word to be repronounced, defined, or used in a sentence. The competition will continue until we only have the three winners, at the end of which they will be allowed to proceed to the next semifinals as we look for our ultimate winner who will be our spelling bee champion now that the rules are clear and the contestants are ready wordmaster it's time for us to play we have to go straight to what you came to do you are wonderful champions because for you to come to the national championship you must be wonderful people now this is a non-elimination round two words You'll just spell it, even if you miss the first one, you'll still do the second one and you'll not be eliminated even if you miss both. Remember, I have very able support team right here with me and that is the scorekeeper, Maurice Omondi from Nakuru. And we have also on my left, that is Wamboy Mbugwa from Mombasa, who is the timekeeper. So now, straight to business. And I'll start with the contestant number. One, one, six. That is 116. My name is Lee Kabene. I come from Kaganjo Pre Primary School in Moranga County and I'm 12 years old. Great. Your first word is locusts. Locusts. L O C U S T S. Correct. Your second word is competition. C-O-M-P-E-T-I-T-I-O-N. Correct. You've got both words correct, so you can get back to your seat as you wait for the next one. Now straight to speller number 115, or 115 if you like. I'm Mwanzo Esperance from Maui Commonwealth primary school. I'm 13 years old and I come from Bungoma County. You're welcome and your first word, classmates. 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 C-L-A-S-S-M-A-T-E. Classmates. You've got it wrong. Only missed the letter S. You said classmates, but you spelled classmate. Your second word is Determined. 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 Yes. D-E-T-E-R-M-I-N-E-D. Correct. You've got it right. You can take your seat. Now, next speller is number 117. That is 117. My name is Phyllis Cherop from Queen of Angels, Starbo, Wasingishu County. I'm 12 years old. Yes, your first word is anger. Anger. Pardon? Anger. She shouted at her classmates because of her anger. 
A N G E R. Correct. Your second word is permanently. Permanently. P E R M A N E N T L Y. You're right, but uh, you are going down, but it's normal in spelling. But you got it right, so you can take your seat. Now, our next speller is one, number 114. That is 114. Well, my name is Anita Koinange. I'm 14 years old. I'm from Kichale School Primary in Transaya County. Great. Now, your first word is surprise. Surprise. Yes. S-U-R-P-R-I-S-E. Correct. Your second word is interdicted. He was interdicted for deserting duty. I-N-T-E-R-D-I-C-A. T-E-D. You missed it by saying A. That A is not in that word. But it happens when you are handling a word in spelling. But still, we are with you. Get back to your seat now. <laughs> Speller number 118. I'm Lena Masita, 12 years old from Bisama, from Bisama Academy, Nyamira County. Great. Your first word, librarian. R-I-B-R-A-R-I-A-N. Correct. Your second word is typhoid. T-Y-P-H-O-I-D. Correct. You can take your seats. It's that time when I call the speller number 113. So can you come forward? Can you step forward? My name is Pius Sham. I'm from Kuali, Kuali Primary in Kuali County. I'm 13 years old. Okay. Now, your first word is flamingos. Flamingos. Yes. F L A M I N G O S flamingos Flamingos has an e just like mangoes Your second word is tongue tied tongue tied to be tongue tied mm. The terrible news left the man tongue tied Tantied. T. T. U. R. N. T. I. E. D. I'm afraid you missed it. Yeah, but we are learning. And you are a winner. Don't worry, you may start this way. And you never know, you may end up being the overall winner. So get back to your seat. Let's go to the next speller. That is number 119, 119. The time is yours. My name is Margaret Reciato. I'm from Nara Kelly Junior School in Nara County. And I'm 13 years old. Great. Your first word is stagnant. Stagnant. S-T-A-G-N-A-N-T. Stagnant. You are right. Your second word is speciality. Speciality. Her speciality is child psychology. Speciality. Speciality. S-P-E-C-I-A-L-T-Y. You just left one letter out, but it happens. You never know. You may be the eventual champion.
So remember this stage is a non-elimination round. We go to speller number 112, that is 112. Yes. My name is Ivan Smwenda. I'm 12 years old from Moraga Bodin in Darakanithi County. Good. Your first word is generator or generator. Generator. G-E-N-E-R-A-T-O-R. Correct. Your second word is brewery. Brewery. Some people locally find themselves saying brewery, but the word is brewery. Can you spell that word? B-R-E-W-E-R-Y. Correct. So you can take your seat. Then we go straight now to speller number 120, if you like. One, two, zero. I'm Isaac Opeo from St. James SEK from Busia County and I'm 14 years old. Good. Your first word is purpose. Purpose. Just like you can say, the purpose of the campaign is to protect forests. Purpose. P-U-R-P-O-S-E. Correct. Your second word is environment. Environment. E N V I R O N M E N T. Correct. So you can take your seat. Then, for this non elimination round, the last person coming is 111. One, one. That is 111. The time is now yours, young girl. My name is Faith Mweni, 13 years old. I learn at Yata in West Uduma Primary in Machakos. Your first word is darkness. Darkness. Yes. D A R K N E S S. Good, you are right. Second word is thoroughly. Thoroughly. Yes. T H O R O U G H L Y. Correct. Now you can take your seat. So you've had that non-elimination round. We are coming to the second round. And that second round, I'll see how much you are. I'm going now to Kaleche Momo. That was quite a competitive round. That was quite, um, you know, challenging. And still, there are people who really got their words right. But I know the word master must have something up his sleeve. Remember, this show is brought to you by our amazing sponsors. We have DPL Festive, Veda Stationery, Ting Ting Confectionery by Kenafric Industries and Containers, better known as Kentank. And we're also going to thank the people who are giving us the winning school bus. That is a DT Dobie. And then we have Crown Paints who will paint the school of uh, the, the winning school. The child's winning school will be painted by Crown Paints. INM Bank who have sponsored some of our students who are participating. We also have a Capital Markets Authority who has sponsored students and given us some of the business words that you will be hearing throughout this competition. If you're sitting at home, you're enjoying the show, why not tell us about it? Tell us where you're watching us from. Make sure that you are tweeting us. That is at spelling bee underscore Ken. Or you can talk to us on Facebook. That is Kenya National Spelling Bee. And the hashtag we're using is hashtag Kenya spelling B. So we want to hear from you, we want to talk to you, and as well, we'll be playing a little bit of a quiz later on in the show. Right now, this is the end of the warm up session. When we do come back, this will be an elim elimination round. Oh my God, my words are getting caught up. It will be time for an elimination, and we will tell you how that goes down. Don't you go anywhere. <laughs>
For makers of festive bread, we introduce festive cream rolls available in four flavors. Vanilla, strawberry, caramel and chocolate. Festive cream roll, the perfect snack for all. Welcome back to the Kenya Spelling Bee. My name is Kale Chumumo. I'm your host as we try to find out who is going to be our spelling champion. Yes, can you spell like a champion? If at home you're sitting there and you're saying, oh, my kids should be part of this, you know what? You need to make sure that you are registering every time you hear that there is a competition for Kenya Spelling Bee. Get your kids to participate. It's the best way to build their word power and they can do it right on a stage like this. Now, we are at the elimination round. Round. Now, in this round, we are going to have our spellers taking on two questions. They have the opportunity to take on two questions. If they get the first one right, they will then proceed to be offered the second question to spell, the second word to spell. So it's really a matter of getting it right because there is that ultimate cash prize of half a million shillings and a school bus, a 26-seater school bus that is up for grabs. So contestants... Here we go, over to you, Wordmaster. That is none other than Kaleche. And now that she's given us the go ahead, I'll start with speller number 111. That is 111. So can you come forward? Your first word is hawk. Hawk, that strong, fast bird that kills other creatures for food. Hawk. Hawk. H-A-W-K. Correct. Your second word is squawk. Squawk. That is to make a loud, sharp sound, like the hen started to squawk in the small cage. Squawk. S-Q-U-A-C-K. I'm afraid you are wrong on that. I'm afraid, but it doesn't make you a poor speller. You are a good speller and a winner for that matter, only that you've missed it. So you can get back to your seat. But as you get back to your seat, remember the rules. When you hear about elimination, this round is about elimination. So if you miss a word, you have just missed it. But you have to now leave the stage. For that matter, speller number one, one, one has to leave the stage. And we go straight now to speller number one, two, zero. That is speller number 120. The floor is yours. Now, your first word is millionaire. Millionaire. So and so is a millionaire. M-I-L-I-O-N-A. R E. You've missed it because you used one L. We go to the next speller. 
as at this stage, it's elimination, but young man, you never know. One day, you may make it. Don't worry. Now, we go to the next speller, that is number 112. Your first word is questionnaire. Questionnaire. Yes. Q U E S T I O N A I R E. I'm afraid you missed one N in that word. We have N N. That is Q U E S T I O N N A I R E. But it happens. You are a winner, so you'll have just to rest. Next speller, that is number 119. Your first word is sensor. Sensor, a device that can react to light, heat, or pressure in order to make a machine do or show something. That is sensor. It senses. Sensor. Sensor. S-E-N-S-O-R. Sensor. Correct. Your second word is also pronounced as sensor, but it has a different meaning. I'm talking about a container for holding and burning incense. A container <laughs> for holding and burning incense. It's also pronounced as sensor. Sensor. S. S C E N S O R. Oh, unfortunately, you've not made it. Sensor, that container is C E N S E R. Just tricky, but missing it does not mean you're a bad speller. Next time is there, you have another chance. Now, we have speller number 113. 113. Your first word is doormat. Doormat. Just like that is that small piece of strong material placed outside the door. Doormat. Doormat. D O O R M A T. Doormat. Correct. Your second word is dormouse. Dormouse. That small animal like a mouse uh, that it has that tail or a long tail that is covered in fur, dormouse. Dormouse. Yes. D-O-O-R-M-O-U-S-E. Unfortunately, you had O-O instead of having D-O-R. So, unfortunately, you've also left the stage. But you are a wonderful young man. The next speller is number 118. That is 118. One, Your first word is lizard. Meaning. Lizard. Meaning. Lizard, that is a small reptile with a rough skin. And it has four short legs and a long tail. L-I-Z-A-R-D. Correct. Your second word is about the snowstorm. And that is blizzard. B L I Z A R G. You know what? You've just missed one Z. Just one Z. You seem confident, but just one Z. Sorry. So you have to rest a bit. Next speller, 114. Your first word is gimmickry. Gimmickry. The use of unusual tricks. Gimmicks. Gimmickry. G I M M I C R Y. Oh. Just that K. Only the K. Which means you have to leave the stage. And these words, which look simple, they are tricky because of the letters. Sorry. Now, the next speller, number 117. How are you? Okay. 
Your first word, mimicry. Mimicry. From the word mimic. M I M M I C K R Y. You've used M M when we have one M. Gimicry has two M's. Mimicry has one M. A bit tricky. Spell number one, one, five. Your word, which is the first one, is expert. An expert. E X P E R T. You are right. Your second word is expatriate. Expatriate. That's a person who goes to live in a country that is not their own. You've talked about expat, you got it right. Now give us the spelling of the word expatriate. Like the American expatriates in Nairobi, like visiting Masai Mara. They have come to live in Kenya, which is not their country. Expatriate. E X P E R T R A I T. I'm afraid you've missed it. I'm afraid you've missed it. Don't worry. Just come and join your team. Yes. Speller number 116. How are you? Very fine. You're very fine? Yes. Now, your first word is plural of liar. A liar. Now we say liars. So can you spell for us? Liars, people who lie. L I A R S. Correct. <laughs> Your second word is now what is locally called to liars with so on. So people say liars, but it's liaise, to liaise with somebody. So the first one was liars, plural of liar. The second one is liaise, what we locally call to liars. So can you spell liaise? L I E R S. Oh, young man, you've just missed it by a whisker. I would say you've missed it narrowly. But now it so happens that Almost all of you are missing just one letter, meaning the words could be tricky. But you'll get back to the stage, you'll first get out, then I know the wonderful host will bring all of you back. In fact, not all. I think there are seven, if I'm not wrong, including you. There are six. Six, including him. Yes. Thank you. Uh, now you are going to be six, so just leave the stage, but the next event will be guided by the host. <laughs> what a round! I mean, I started out with 10 and now I have empty seats. Should I sit down and become a contestant? Well, let's try this. Should I, should, I, should I be the next one? So what master, you know, call me, just call me by my name, I'll be ready. I try something small? Yeah! Well, in parliament, they always say okay, wait, the just eyes wait. have Nothing, it. Just <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You looked at me and just decided to go harsh. No, 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 no. Let's anyway. pause right there. Um, <laughs> what around, ladies and gentlemen? It's just one of those things that happens where it is a contest. So you never know how it's going to be. Right here on the Kenya Spelling Bee, we are all about making sure that we play fair and square. So we had 10 contestants, and out of those 10, only six of them who are sitting outside here got one word wrong. We have those who got everything wrong, and then we have people who got one one wrong. So we're going to give them a chance to try and battle it again in this next round. So let me get back on stage, number 111. Come on quickly, quickly. Come back and take your seat. Followed by number 113. Let's give them a round of applause. Please hurry up. 113, 115, Karibu Sana, quickly come on stage. 
116, come on stage. 118, come and take your seat. 118, your seat. 119, come, 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 take your seat. So, word master, these are the students who have all missed out by one word in, in, in their spellings, in their chances, but they got their first words right. Sure, sure. So, what we're going to do is allow them to proceed to the next round and battle it out yes. within that round yes. and see who gets to proceed to our semi-finals. Ladies and gentlemen, remember, this is an elimination stage and we are going to get there by making sure that these students answer three spelling challenges. So before we do that, again, you may be there thinking, oh, I got this, I, I tried. I have failed miserably just by hearing the word. So it is not an easy place to be. But we want to give you a chance back at home to try out a quiz. And this time, you get to walk away with a hamper filled with even more goodies from our amazing sponsors. And so I'm going to give you the question. Get your pens and papers out. At least you have the opportunity to do that. For a chance to walk away with an amazing hamper from our sponsors, tell us, who are the manufacturers of Ting Ting Chewing Gum? Who are the manufacturers of Tin Tin Chewing Gum? To win, all you have to do is email us, spellingbee at standardmedia.co.ke. That's spellingbee at standardmedia.co.ke. And once your email comes in, you never know. You could be the one walking away with a hamper because you tried to play this quiz. So ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. This is the Kenya Spelling Bee. It is our second episode. We're going into round three. My name is Kalecha Mumu, and believe me, I can't wait. Don't go anywhere. Festive Bread, feeding our nation through caring for today's needs. Festive Bread, dedicated to a quality life. Shades. It hides surface imperfections. Call us on 0709-887-000 to place your order. Crown. If you like it, crown it.
And welcome back to the Kenya Spelling Bee. My name is Kale Chimumo. I'm your host as we try to find out who is going to be our spelling champion. Oh, the tension, oh, the praying, and oh, you know, um, different things and strategies to make sure that you get your word right. I think that was, I, th I was sitting there with butterflies in my stomach. I don't know if that was the same case for you in the audience and at home. I had butterflies. I was like, how's this going to go? But here is the situation. We do have our position number three that is our second runner up and that is uh, the speller number 119 so can we have a round of applause they are in position number three as we stand <laughs> and now we need to do a round for a tiebreaker between speller number 116 and speller number 118 a round of applause for them too <laughs> now in this round they are going to answer two questions they have the opportunity to answer two words they have the opportunity actually they have the opportunity to spell two words the first person who gets both right becomes our champion of the day right here on the kenya spelling bee so over to you wordmaster let's get this tiebreaker on the road cool and that is it now can you guide me on those who are coming for that we have Contestant number 116 and number 118. Are you ready? Let me start with the young girl. Can you step forward? <laughs> now, your first word is millennium. 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 That is a period of 1,000 years. Millennium. M E L L E I M U M. I'm afraid you <coughs> missed it. And at this point, I ask you the second question. Can you spell? Matters. You must have heard of Ugandan matters. And a matter is somebody or people who suffer very much because of what they believe in. So can you spell the word matters in plural? M-Y-T-H-R-S. I'm afraid you've missed it. So can you wait just on your seat? Now, can we have the next speller? And that is the speller number 116. You are ready? Your first word is accelerate. To accelerate. A C C E. L-E-R-A-T-E. -E. Correct. <laughs> Your second word is excellent. E-X-E-L-L-E-N-T. No. <laughs> You've missed C. E-X-C-E-L-L-E-N-T. Excellent. Now, and it's that time that I have again to take you back to Kaleche Momo. Well, Willis, I think it's clear we do have a winner because yes. uh, judges, unless you can tell me different, it that sounds like it. we do. Sure. So let me ask the judges sure. to tell us what they say on the scores. Yes, finally we have uh, the winner. Speller number 116 is the champion. A round of applause for the young man. Congratulations. <laughs> so Speller number 116, uh, you are the first champion of this uh, particular spelling bee. Um, and then who is our second runner up? We have Speller oh, first number runner up, rather. first. <laughs> that is Speller number 118. 118, come on up here. Congratulations. Closing the top three, speller number 
119. Where's 119? Just stand over here. So these, my friends, are the people who have walked away straight to the semifinals from this round of the Kenya Spelling Bee. Take your seats, please. Thank you so much. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how the game is played. For a chance to walk away with an amazing hamper from our sponsors, tell us, who are the manufacturers of Ting Ting Chewing Gum? Who are the manufacturers of Ting Ting Chewing Gum? To win, all you have to do is email us, spellingbee at standardmedia.co.ke. That's spellingbee at standardmedia.co.ke. And once your email comes in, you never know. You could be the one walking away with a hamper because you tried to play this quiz. So ladies and gentlemen, every single person is a winner right here on the Kenya Spelling Bee. And we are going to invite uh, from DPL Festive, Mike, to come on up here so that we can give out some hampers. Come on up here, Mike. Mike, come on up here. A round of applause for him. Hi, Mike. Hello, Lena. Um, so how did you find, first of all, uh, that particular uh, session? That game has well, gone tough. Well, well, well. <laughs> I should say the butterfly is still in the stomach. <laughs> right? I was as uh, anxious as the young ones, but they have done really, really well. They I are. congratulate each and every one of them. Well, you know what? Uh, you're here to give us uh, some hampers. So can the hampers come on up, uh, the team of Festive, please bring up the hampers because every single person walks away with a hamper. Um, and so we have uh, got in these bags the amazing stationery from Veda. Congratulations, congratulations. All the contestants who are here, can you please come on up for this yes. round if you're out there, a round of applause for them. Come on up here. Take your seats. Yeah. So there's pink and blue for everybody. So as the contestants uh, get uh, their bags, uh, just remember that we have our sponsors who are giving us these amazing hampers. We have uh, DPL Festive, who are the ones handing out the hampers today. We have Vader Stationery, who have these amazing bags, plus their stationery inside there. Ting Ting Confectionery have some chewing gum for everybody by Ken Africa Industries. And we do have containers, better known as Ken Tank, who have an amazing bag inside there as well. It's been such an amazing show. There are certificates and medals for every single buddy. Everybody's a winner. And if you are at home, remember you can talk to us as always. We are on Twitter and we are on Facebook. So thank you, Buona Mike, so much. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you so much. They still, uh, you can go ahead and give out those. If you're at home and you are tweeting us, that hashtag is Kenya Spelling Bee and the handle is at Spelling Bee underscore Ken. And Kenya National Spelling Bee on FB. And you know what? It's all about giving you a chance to spell uh, like a champion for the ultimate prize of half a million shillings and that 26-seater bus. From us here in studio, we say goodbye. We will see you next week. Sincerely, I was nervous, yeah. but I managed to be number three. The competition was really tough, but I really tried, and God answered my prayers. I was praying that I will be am that I can be there among the top three. I'm praying and trying to remember, and and as the saying goes, God never leaves His people.
makers of festive bread, we introduce festive cream rolls available in four flavors. Vanilla, strawberry, caramel and chocolate. Festive cream roll, the perfect snack for all. Rough and tough quality textured coating gives your walls a tough and beautiful finish. Available in over 6,000 shades, it hides surface imperfections. Call us on 0709-887-000 to place your order. Crown. If you like it, crown it.